everyone, a young Zach with me this morning, and we've got an unplanned trip, and we're heading down to the southern end of Portland Bay um, to target some squid. And I think this time of year, you get a, a really good bite down the southern end of whatever bay you're in. The conditions today are not the best. It's 15 knots westerly, but the good thing about a westerly in the southern end of Port Phillip Bay, uh, on the eastern side, it's a little bit protected. So we're gonna use that to our advantage today and try and negotiate a 15 knot wind and convert it into some uh, squid, which is gonna be tricky, but I think it's doable. We've got some rain around as well. A mixture of jigs today, we've got from size 2.5 to size 3.5, and I think that the slower um, sink rate is the best to get the squid to bite. Yeah, and if we get down there and something changes or something different happens, be versatile like we might go and catch whiting or something like that pinkies or whatever whatever we can catch really we just want to have a fish so yeah sit back and uh, relax um, trying a bit of a new style today a video so if you like this sort of style let us know in the comments because we'll keep doing them we just go fuck up and uh, in this little bay here is sheltered just like literally right by the ram so worst case scenario, we ended up just here catching squid. The water's pretty clear, which is always good when you're squid fishing. The motor's running good, it's all fixed up now. We're gonna continue the land based stuff, because I've really enjoyed it. So if you're watching our videos for the land based stuff, we're gonna continue on, especially in snapper season. We've got a run out with uh, westerly blowing, sort of southwest blowing that way. And that's just going to help slow down the drift. So it's once wind against tide's going to help us. And we'll just work this area, persist until we find some squid. Once we find the squid, we'll hit the GPS mark and uh, try and work that area. First drift, it's only a small one, beautiful little squid rainbow we just had a fair bit of rain and all we're doing is we want to get the squid jigs close to the bottom as possible without snagging on the bottom around that broken ground and just work the rods give them a bit of a, a jig we've got the blue color sky white jigs are generally pretty good these are look at the little hootsy in there <laughs> just He's all right, he's nothing. Oh, he's gonna go at you. Just gonna whack it in the rod holder and that will stay on there. And he will cast the other jigs over to where he's hanging. Because they often hunt in packs. We we'll just chuck that one out. Oh, he's only just hooked, mate. Here's the net. He's got another one out there. So we'll just mark this little area. Double flag on the Lorance. Is he just latched? He, he's just holding that. Look. Yeah, yeah. There's one there, Zach's on again. See, and this is... Try and fish the low light and around those tide changes and you'll have success. Have a range of small jigs, high quality jigs. I've GPSed it. Did you really? Yeah. So this is a whole new area we've just tried. We're just drifting. And for blowing 50, there's that little, little hoots he's on. <laughs> on another one the rain's starting to come down and he's just taking his time getting it in got that white jig there right eh? and if you hold him by the jig he'll blast he won't blast you put it down like that <laughs> there he is there cool looking 
sweet. Real cool. Do you want to just dispatch him, mate? Good patch here now. There's another. Yeah. So they're not massive squid, but okay. I tell you, I wish I had soggy Eddie. Yeah. So you can regret it. Yeah. Today the water temp's about 12.8. We're fishing in between three and five meters. We're well into the tide change, and it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. We've had a decent bite today. I don't know if it's the chop on the water, but it's been good. Not huge squid, unfortunately. So I've just hooked one. Put the camera down for a second and I've got one. And because it's, I'm just casting cross current as the tide's running out, just sort of slightly up to try and get the jig down a bit better. There's a, find that weedy bottom and you'll be into the squid like we are like it's really easy to do having lots of sleepers really helps as well because it it acts like teasers eh? where they just the whole school of them just follow i think we better do a camp mate but it's good being versatile being able to come into western port or port phillip or wherever anywhere in the your fish and just work out how to catch squid because they are they are pretty easy to catch 